This is Elk Morning Counts' his first coup. Elk Morning was the grandson of Chief Praise in the morning of the Crow of Salagat. To become a great chief like his grandfather, Elk Morning had to show his bravery by doing four courageous deeds known as coups. The first coup was capturing a very grand horse from one of his rivals. His grandfather told him to prepare himself. He must have a vision, vision quest. This was a tradition where the creator would give him instruction on what to do on his quest to count his first coup. Elk Morning journeyed to the mountains and spent four days and four nights without food and water. His suffering helped him understand why he must go on his adventure. Elk Morning stayed within a circle of rocks by a fire and waited for the creator to reveal himself. One day an elk came close to his, to his circle and stayed for hours. One night a wolf came just as close and began to howl. Every night the northern lights revealed a vision of a great horse crossing the sky. When he returned, Elk Morning sat with Chief Praise in the morning and asked him to interpret his vision quest, his rite of passage, and how to proceed. The great chief said, The elk you saw is your helper. Paint your shield with the elk. The wolf is your disguise. You also saw a horse in the light in the sky. His grand Yes, Grandfather, I saw a great bronze horse with a circle around his eye, four lines on his cheek, a lightning bolt on his leg, a horse track on his shoulder. Finally, there was a hand on its rump as if it were calling me to reach out and touch it. I know a great bronze horse. He belongs to our rival many miles north and is named Buffalo Wind. He runs as fast as the herd in the middle of a great hunt. He has a golden mane and, an, and a tail with a bronze muscular frame. Grandfather continued, Gather your friends to be your witness. They'll testify your courage. What should I tell them, Grandfather? Tell them this is the horse that will help you become a great warrior. The circle around his eye is a sign along with the others. Each symbol reveals your future. Elk Morning looked up to the sky to gather his thoughts. Grandfather then said, I know you are afraid, Elk Morning, but finding your courage will be your greatest reward. Elk Morning replied, I'll be brave and make you proud, Grandfather. Within the week, there was a great crow gathering with dancing, singing, and storytelling. Elk Morning discussed his first coup with his friends. Strong Mountain, Brave Hunter, Sacred River, and carries his bow. All four of them knew the danger of such a long journey. Anything could happen from falling or from falling from your horse to being attacked by a wild animal. Strong Mountain said, My older brother never returned from his first coup attempt. My family suffered two winters from his loss as he was a good hunter. Still, Elk, Morning, Elk Morning's friends would go with him and be his witness. He would do the same for them. It was not because of pride, but because of the trust they had in their abilities and the love they had for each other. Nearby, sings well, sun shines bright, pretty braids, and brings great fortune, overheard the young men talking. They also knew the danger and had lost brothers in this dangerous rite of passage. They had pride in the men who had returned triumph as they became great warriors. The young woman wanted Elk Morning to be a great chief like his grandfather. First, he had to pass this test. Elk Morning wanted to talk to the young woman before he and his friends left for the rival's camp. He met them the next day as they were helping his mother your meat from the last buffalo hunt. Singswell said, It's brave of you, Elk Morning. You'll come back and your horse will show your bravery. Sunshine's Bright said, I prayed for you and your party for a safe journey and a safe return home. 
Pretty Braid said, This task is dangerous. Many warriors have not come back. Please be alert and safely return home to us. Oh my God. Yeah. Elk Morning and his friends began their journey to find the great bronze horse. It was many miles north and took several days. They honored Elk Morning's vision quest and disguised themselves as wolves. Far before them, in the distance, they could see the other tribes camp covering a large amount of land. They dismounted their own horses and approached quietly. They hid behind high rocks so they could take their time and wait until they had a good plan. They spent days watching Buffalo Wind in his pastures surrounded by berry bushes, the beautiful animal would treat himself to the pasture grass and bush berries throughout the day. They watched at night to see Buffalo Wind's owner tie a rope around his neck. He tied the other end of the rope around his wrist before going to sleep in his teepee. It would be very difficult for anyone to still buffalo in with his rope tied around, tied to the owner's wrist. Elk Morning would have to get right next to the owner's teepee, replace the rope with something heavy enough to make the owner think it was buffalo in. <laughs> Finally one night, when it was dark enough to stay hidden from the moon, Elk Morning decided to make his move. Elk Morning snuck into the camp with his friends waiting, watching. He carefully loosened the rope off the buffalo wind's neck and tied it to a rock so it seemed heavy at the end. The rope moved as if he had awakened. The current owner inside, I did awaken the current owner inside, the teepee. Elk Morning froze in place for a moment. The rope stopped moving and all was quiet again. Elk Morning carefully stood and stroked buffalo wind's neck and opened his hand, filled with berries. Buffalo Wind sniffed and smiled and licked his hand. The sun was just about to rise as Buffalo Wind followed up morning in the berries away from the teepee without a rope. At the edge of the enemy camp, Elk Morning grabbed the great, great horse's mane and jumped on his back. He hoped he and his friends would get a head start for many miles before the sun was high in the sky. They ran through rivers and across rocks and through, them, and through more rivers to hide their tracks so that the other tribe could not follow them. The next night, they thought they were being followed. They spent the darkness together without a fire and without sleeping. The moonlight became very bright and they took turns keeping watch. Suddenly, a sound as large as thunder came from the trees up in the hill from where they were hiding. They knew what it was. It was a grizzly bear. Strong Mountain stood very tall to scare the bear away, but it did not work. Brave Hunter, Sacred River, and Carries his bull raised their spears ready to defend themselves from the bear if he charged. The bear raised, his, raised up on his hind legs and roared so loud that its voice echoed throughout the canyon. Its claws were out and shining in the moonlight. Elk Morning gave the loudest war cry possible. The grizzly dropped down to his front paws and cowered. The warriors lower, lowered their spears and watched as the bear returned into the dark forest. At daybreak, Elk Morning and his, and his horse, Buffalo Wind, and his friends traveled their many miles to the Crow Camp. He had come home, proving he had com completed his first coup. Chief Braves in the morning said, Capturing a great horse was very brave. Where did you find your courage? Elk Morning replied, I found him. I, f I found it in him, Grandfather. I knew he was a great horse. He belongs with us because we are great people. Then Aquaman said, and it's easier to catch a horse with berries than with a rope. Chief Brazeman said, grandson, I know you'll soon become a great warrior. The end.